up Airbnb and I love it. Honestly, it's so beautiful. I love the decor. I love the theme, the blue theme. It's so like ocean inspired and perfect for a beach side stay. I'm really looking forward to settling in here, going for a walk and getting some dinner. But um, I'll insert some videos of the Airbnb because I'm really happy with my choice. So we've just arrived at our Airbnb and how beautiful is this? It's exactly what it looked like online. Actually, it's probably even better in person. It's so light and airy. There are so many like beautiful touches. I'll show you guys around, but this is the living and dining area. I love it. So beautiful, so light, you know, very like seaside-esque. I love the decor. We're gonna have the best time. This artwork, this artwork's really good. It's amazing. I know, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. So exciting. It's so exciting. Our first staycation, or our first yeah. vacation together since we went to Sydney like three years ago. I know, it's been a long time. We're going to enjoy it. Yay. Yeah. I could see this through. I could wait another night. One more night, one more night. Fight it through till the darkness turns to light. One more night, one more night. Say it's gonna be okay. Cause this winter is so long, feels like it's haunting me. It's around 6 p.m. now, and we're actually heading out for dinner. We're going to a restaurant called 360Q, which is here at the marina in Queenscliff. It's just about a five minute walk from our place which isn't too far at all. So we're going to rug up and head out again. We've been back since our walk before, which was so lovely by the way. And we've had the heater on full blast because it's so chilly outside. It's honestly like really icy in the air, but it's so good to get some fresh air and just get away from the city. You know, I live in the city. So to get a bit of a seaside escape is exactly what you need. Guys, there's literally nobody around. It's actually dead. And we're walking to dinner. <laughs> Queen's Cliff is a ghost town. <laughs> dinner is served. We both got the vegetarian curry, so bon appetit. Looks so good. Time to dig in. Where do I even start? Yeah. That is so good. It's a bit later on now. I'm in my pajamas. As you can see, I'm fresh faced. We had a lovely dinner at 360Q. We both ordered these vegetarian curries, which was so warming and delicious. The perfect winter warmer. And we walked to and from the restaurant from our Airbnb. It's so quiet here, guys. You have no idea. Like there were no people inside, which I think is the beautiful thing about Queenscliff. It's quite untouched. And it really does make you feel like you've been away. You know, it's away from the hustle and bustle of the city. And for a city slicker like me, that's what I want when I go on a holiday. So this was perfect. I'm so glad we booked it. But um, we're about to make hot chocolates. And then I think we'll head to bed soon. It's been quite a wholesome day. I'll check back in with you in the morning. Say there's gonna be a change. Friday. We're here at a cafe called The General Store. We both ordered uh, poached eggs on sourdough and we've got a coffee, so I'm looking forward to having a nice breakfast. The Airbnb we stayed in is just beautiful. We had the best sleep, so it's been a very relaxing morning. We went for a walk as well, we got some fresh air. So yeah, bon appetit! I'm about to head back into the city. Chelsea is going back to the city. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I'd love to have you on board. And honestly, just getting out of the city for one night has worked wonders. I feel so much more refreshed, recharged, the 
healing powers of nature, that's all I can say. But if you're in need of a good holiday read, if you're having a staycation like me, don't forget to get your hands on my book at frenchybychelseaelizabeth.com slash shop. This book is all about how I got into my dream university. But, you know, even if that's not your goal, maybe you think, I don't need to get into university. I've already been or, you know, I've already got my dream job. I want to do something else in my life and you have other goals. This book will still show you how to achieve your goals. It shows you the struggles I went through back in year 12, back in high school, you know, experiencing family trauma and learning to adapt and move forward and still put myself first and achieve my biggest dreams. So I hope that you get your hands on this book. It's honestly amazing. I put so much time, effort and money into making this perfect for you. It's available as a book like this, a hard copy book, but also as an ebook. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. Dream big, make it happen and be your own biggest fan. I believe in you. I know you can do it. So, you know, what are you waiting for? Anyway, I'll see you guys very soon. I'm about to head back home. Bye for now.